Why don't you give us your name? Gilmore, Carlton Gilmore. Carlton Gilmore. And what quarter do you come from? Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Um, tell us about your life before Christ. Well, my life before Christ, I was living, well, not living, existing in the land of the dead, like zombies, mm. you know, no, no ambition, no strength, no mind of my own, just wandering. Uh, I was similar like um, Paul on the road that he spoke of in the Bible. When, uh, when the Lord saw Paul was going, leading, you know, killing the people, well, I was killing myself. I was indulging in alcohol and drugs and all the all the sins of the world. And he stopped me on that road of self-destruction, and I, I contracted cirrhosis of the liver, which put me in a hospital in a terminally ill ward. When they put you in a terminally ill ward, that means your life is determined by days, minutes, even hours. And um, I, I, I went into a coma. When I came out of the coma, there were two Salvation Army officers standing over me praying. And they asked me that I believe in prayer. I actually didn't believe in anything at the time because I was still in the land of dead. But they were persistent and they prayed for me. And, you know, and I woke up the next day. They were taking the tubes out of me. And I, we let that all up to God mm -hmm. because the doctors didn't know what happened. And ever since that day that God touched me in that way, he got my attention. That's what he did. God got my attention. And since 1991, he's kept my attention. And I'm still here today to testify that once God gets a hold of you, he won't let you go. And I praise God for, for really grabbing me up that day and saving my life allow me to be here right now to testify that God is good all the time. Not sometimes, all the time. And all the time, God is good.